Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today I'm going to show you how the GPS works in the iPad 3G versus that of the Wi-Fi only iPad. The iPad 3G is the only iPad equipped with a GPS chip. Now that doesn't mean the Wi-Fi model doesn't have any sort of GPS capability. It does use something called Skyhook. And Skyhook basically is a service that registers the locations of Wi-Fi hotspots. When you turn on the Wi-Fi of your iPad, it's able to pick up the Wi-Fi signal and if that Wi-Fi hotspot is registered with Skyhook it will give you a rough idea of exactly where you are located. Of course that only works if you're near a Wi-Fi hotspot and it's very inaccurate so it can't tell you if you're moving or where you're moving or how far away you are moving. Now of course GPS will give you full connection to a satellite so it's very accurate and works very similar to an iPhone 3GS or any sort of GPS unit in a car. So to test this, I'm going to go ahead and use Google Maps. Let's launch that app. So here is my street. And the location rings are appearing. I can already see that the location ring for the 3G model is much smaller. It's about this size. And it's shrunken down to nothing. So it's actually right within the roof of my house. While the Wi-Fi only model is a very large circle encompassing about six, seven homes. And of course the center of the circle is fairly accurate. I have registered my Wi-Fi network with Skyhook previously, so it knows basically where I am. But right now the blue dot or the center of the circle is in my neighbor's house. So it, it's not a complete waste, but it's not that useful either. And certainly isn't accurate enough to use for most GPS apps. And of course this is so accurate, it's bouncing around trying to find exactly where I am. It is almost precisely where I am in the house right now. Once again, that's Detroit Borg with a quick demonstration of the GPS functionalities on your iPad 3G and iPad Wi-Fi only model. Please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.